Glasses are typically used for vision correction, such as with reading glasses and glasses used for nearsightedness. However, without the specialized lenses, they are sometimes used for cosmetic purposes. Safety glasses provide eye protection against flying debris for construction workers or lab technicians. These glasses may have protection on the sides of the eyes as well as in the lenses. Some types of safety glasses are used to protect against visible and near visible light or radiation. Glasses are worn for eye protection in some sports such as squash. Glasses wearers may use a strap to prevent the glasses from falling off. Wearers of glasses that are used only part of the time may have the glasses attached to a cord that goes around your neck to prevent the loss and breaking of the glasses. The loss of glasses will be detrimental to those working in these conditions. Sunglasses allow for better vision in bright daylight and they are used to protect one's eyes against damage from excessive levels of ultraviolet light. Typical sunglasses lenses are tinted for protection against bright light or polarized to remove glare. Photochromic glasses are blacked out or lightly tinted in dark or indoor conditions, but turn into sunglasses when they come into contact with ultraviolet light. Most over-the-counter sunglasses do not have corrective power in the lenses. However, special prescription sunglasses can be made. People with conditions that have photophobia as a primary symptom, like certain migraine disorders, often wear sunglasses or precision tinted glasses, even indoors and at night. Specialized glasses may be used for viewing specific visual information, for example, 3D glasses for 3D films, stereoscopy. Sometimes glasses are worn purely for fashion or aesthetic purposes. Even with glasses used for vision correction, a wide range of fashions are available using plastic, metal, wire, and other materials for frames. The earliest recorded comment on the use of lenses for optical purposes was made in 1268 by Roger Bacon. The first eyeglasses were estimated to have been made in central Italy, most likely in Pisa, by about 1290. In a sermon delivered on 23rd February 1306, the Dominican friar Giordano da Pisa wrote, It is not yet 20 years since there was found the art of making eyeglasses, which make for good vision. And it is so short a time that this new art, never before extant, was discovered. I saw the one who first discovered and practiced it, and I talked to him. Giordano's colleague, Friar Alessandro de la Spina of Pisa, was soon making eyeglasses. The ancient chronicle of the Dominican monastery of St. Catherine in Pisa records, eyeglasses, having first been made by someone else who was unwilling to share them, he, Spina, made them and shared them with everyone with a cheerful and willing heart. Venice quickly became an important center of manufacture, especially due to using the high-quality glass made at Murano. By 1301, there were guild regulations in Venice governing the sale of eyeglasses, and a separate guild of Venetian spectacle makers was formed in 1320. In the 14th century, they were very common objects. Francesco Petraca says in one of his letters that until he was 60, he did not need glasses, and Franco Sacchetti mentions them often in his Trecento Novel. The earliest pictorial evidence for the use of eyeglasses is Tommaso da Modena's 1352 portrait of the Cardinal Hugh de Saint-Cher reading in a scriptorium. Another early example would be depiction of eyeglasses found north of the Alps in an altarpiece of the Church of Bad Wildegen, Germany in 1403. These early glasses had convex lenses that would correct both hyperopia, farsightedness, and the presbyopia that commonly develops as a symptom of aging. Although concave lenses for myopia, nearsightedness, had made their first appearance in the mid-15th century, it was not until 1604 that Johannes Kepler published the first correct explanation as to why convex and concave lenses could correct presbyopia and myopia. Early frames for glasses consisted of two magnifying glasses riveted together by the handles so that they could grip the nose. These are referred to as rivet spectacles. The earliest surviving examples were found under the floorboards at Kloster Warehausen, a convent near Cell in Germany. They have been dated to circa 1400. The world's first specialist shop for spectacles, what we might regard today as an optician, opened in Strasbourg, then Holy Roman Empire, now France, in 1466. The 17th century claim by Francesco Redi that Salvino Delgli Armati of Florence invented eyeglasses in the 13th century has been exposed as erroneous. Marco Polo is mistakenly claimed to have encountered eyeglasses during his travels in China in the 13th century. However, no such evidence appears in his accounts. Indeed, 
The earliest mentions of eyeglasses in China occur in the 15th century, and those Chinese sources state that eyeglasses were imported. In 1907, Professor Berthold Laufer speculated in his History of Glasses that for glasses to be mentioned in the literature of China and Europe at approximately the same time, it was probable that they were not invented independently, and after ruling out the Turks, proposed India as a location. However, Joseph Needham speculated that the mention of glasses in the Chinese manuscript Laufer, used in part to credit the prior invention of them in Asia, did not exist in older versions of that manuscript, and the reference to them in later versions was added during the Ming Dynasty. The American scientist Benjamin Franklin, who had both myopia and presbyopia, invented bifocals. The first lenses for correcting astigmatism were designed by the British astronomer George Airy in 1825. Over time, the construction of frames for glasses also evolved. Early eyepieces were designed to be either held in place by hand or by exerting pressure on the nose. Girolamo Savonarola suggested that eyepieces should be held in place by a ribbon passed over the wearer's head. This, in turn, secured by the weight of a hat. The modern style of glasses held by temples passing over the ears was developed some time before 1727, possibly by the British optician Edward Scarlett. These designs were not immediately successful. However, and various styles with attached handles such as scissors glasses and lug nets were also fashionable from the second half of the 18th century and into the early 19th century. In 2008, Joshua Silver designed eyewear with adjustable corrective glasses. They work by using a built-in syringe to pump a silicone solution into a flexible lens. Despite the popularity of contact lenses and laser corrective eye surgery, glasses remain very common as their technology has improved. For instance, it is now possible to purchase frames made of special memory metal alloys that return to their correct shape after being bent. Other frames have spring-loaded hinges. Either of these designs offer dramatically better ability to withstand the stresses of daily wear and the occasional accident. Modern frames are also often made from strong, lightweight materials such as titanium alloys, which were not available in earlier times. In the 1930s, spectacles were described as medical appliances. Wearing spectacles was sometimes considered socially humiliating. In the 1970s, fashionable glasses started to become available through manufacturers, and governments also recognized the demand for stylized eyewear. In recent years, it has become common for consumers to purchase eyewear with non-prescription lenses as a fashion accessory. And that is our special report on the history of eyeglasses. Oluwatoyin Oyedola reporting for BTV News.